now we cross over to the Nyao National Stadium where KTN's Abula Ahmed is standing by. And uh, do remember that uh, Gold Mahia will be taking on Thika United in a Kenya Premier League match as the league enters week 12. Abula Ahmed, how is the Nyao National Stadium? And have the fans started trickling into the stadium? Yes, they have, Alin Washira. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's a bit sunny here at the Nyao National Stadium. We're just uh, waiting uh, for the kickoff. Uh, the match will start at around 4 p.m. It is 15 time champions Gormahi against Thika United, who have been struggling this season. It is going to be the second match in 2017 that will be played here at the Nyao National Stadium. Remember, the first match uh, was witnessed a couple of weeks ago, uh, the first Mashemeji derby of the season, where Gormahi started their winning streak. Remember, they've won three consecutive matches. Since then, after defeating FC Lepers 3-0, they went, to, went on to defeat Chemeril Sugar 2-0 and then uh, last week, they defeated Zoya Sugar 1-0. Uh, they've started well this season. As they say, they've started like a house on fire. Gormahia, 15-time champions. Uh, maybe after losing uh, the title last season uh, from Task FC, uh, they want uh, to regain their title. It will be their 16th title. They're currently leading uh, the league table with 25 points after winning eight matches uh, drawn two and uh, also they've only uh, they've lost two matches and drawn only a single match. Joining me now uh, to talk more about uh, uh, their predictions and also what they expect from the match are uh, Gormahia fans and uh, first of all is uh, he calls himself uh, Mr. Tana who is an ardent Gormahia uh, fan. Welcome Mr. Tana to KTS Colin and uh, uh, how are you first of all? Fine, thank you. What is your expectation? Uh, Gormahia taking on Thika United. Thika currently lie bottom of the Kenya Premier League table. W what's your prediction? Yeah, we really appreciate the match. We believe uh, we are going to win today. Uh, Thika is really struggling, and uh, it's a success. It's, it, it's been a successful uh, year for the club, and uh, we believe we are going to win today's match. What is the difference? Last season, uh, you lost the title to Task FC, but this season, you've shown that uh, maybe you are the team uh, going for the title. What is the difference uh, between last season and this season? Actually, the lineup is good. I believe this year we are the champions in waiting. Uh, last year there was a little mishap uh, in terms of uh, the coordination of the, the team but uh, I think we corrected those mistakes and uh, we are on point as you can see. And uh, what is your final prediction? Thika United, Gormahi and who is going to score? Uh, it should be a 3-1, uh, Gor leading. So it's not going to be a clean sheet for Gormahi? Uh, we are just giving them one for the benefit of doubt and uh, as you can see they are lying uh, at the bottom most, of, bottom most of the table. So at least we can give them something to take home for the time being. Thank you very much, Mr. Tana, and uh, all the best as you cheer uh, Gormaya. Remember, Gormaya have kept three straight clean sheets uh, since they lost. Uh, that was in uh, the, the end day. It uh, was the last day of uh, April. They lost uh, to Mazar United by a single goal to nil. After that, they kept three clean sheets, winning three consecutive matches. And uh, also joining me is another ardent fan of Gormaya who calls himself Mr. JJ, JJ Juma. Karibu sana, JJ. Uh, una taraji nini mechi ya leo? Of course, we shall win this game. We're going to win it. If you have watched the recent three matches of the Gormaya, we have won by a big margin. Only last week that we managed to score one goal, but the others it's been above over 2.5. So I think today, because Thika, you know, Thika with Gormaya game, there's always the solo stuff. And I expect at the first half, one nil for Gormaya. Second half, another two. It will be two nil. What has it, has it been? What has worked on for uh, what has worked for Gormaya this season? Gormaya, I think, because most of the players are not new, they have been there the last season and this season they are there. Though the coordination is working on them, so I don't think it will be hard for them. And they are going to know each other, the relationship with the coach and everything. You know, the first time the coach came was last year, but this season I think he has put all his house in order. We are going to win this thing. Early, very early. By the first half, one knee. Second half, the second, the second. And if they are not careful enough, even three. Uh, in the last 14 uh, encounters uh, between Gormaya and Thika United, Gormaya have won 10 and uh, you've drawn for four times. Thika haven't won against uh, Gormaya recently. Uh, do you think that trend is going to, uh, to, to continue? It's going to happen. And if you look at the trend, we have only drew, we only drew in Thika, not in, not in Nairobi. This is the, like now, this is like now, home team, uh, home ground. Mm. So they're not going to win this one. You can take it to the bank. They're not going to win this one. I'm 100% sure. Your final prediction? Final prediction, 2-0. Tunnel. Yeah, and I also I also urge, urge the supporters who are watching at home yeah. that yesterday the 
Gormaya football clubs, we, we launched our own water. Gormaya fans will be drinking their own water. I think the camera can take a look of the water. <laughs> this is the Gormaya water. We should be drinking our own thing, homemade fans for the fans. This is the water for the fans. The fans should drink Gormaya water for the club. What about the players? I think it's important also for the players. The players uh, already they, theirs. Already, they're already having it. They're already enjoying it. And they're saying it's, it's the perfect water. It's a good deal for them. Because they, because they, they have water, we give them a lot of water. Because we know before we play, we need water. And that's what we made sure. They have the water before we came here. Yeah. So it will be a good thing. When the, the players are drinking the water, the fans should also drink the water. One goal, one bottle. Second Thank goal. you. Thank you very much, uh, JJ. And uh, finally, uh, it is the last day of the English Premier League season. Uh, remember, we have uh, a lot of uh, matches checking on, 10 matches checking on the last day of English Premier League season. And uh, we have a fan who is also a Manchester United fan and a Gorma here fan. Welcome. Uh, he calls himself MC Jaro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, MC Jaro. Yeah, yeah. How are you, MC Jaro? I'm fine. As a Manchester United Gormahia fan, yeah. what do you expect uh, from Gormahia today? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, it's just a win. Uh, we, we, we expect three, three points from this game. Yeah. And uh, I think that's the, 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 the every, everything that, this is the thing that everyone is expecting from this game. And I hope at the end of this game we'll be celebrating. I think we'll cause even jam in the Mombasa Road. And that's automatic. We'll celebrate our team and we have been with them yeah. all this time. I know we are going to make it this time. We have another important uh, match today as far as the title race is concerned. We have Ulinzi playing at home against Posta Rangers who are currently lying second on the KPL log. Yeah. And uh, if Posta win today and uh, maybe Gormahia loses to Thika United, then Posta will uh, leapfrog Gormahia to the uh, first position. Do you think uh, that is going to happen? No, I don't think because we will not give Thika opportunity to, to, win, to, to win this game. And uh, that's the final. When the players are well, well off, and we expect them to win this game early. First half will be three nil. Second half three nil. It will be six nil. Six nil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, all the best uh, for yeah, Gormaya and, and also. Thing, another yeah. thing, this quarter, I, please, please, my fans, Mukuze, to Kapa Nyayo, to Nauza, 25 bob only, please. Just come drink our own water. We make our own team. Thank holy, holy Gormaya water. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, MC Jaro. Now, Lin, uh, it's uh, excitement here at the Nyao National Stadium. Uh, remember, Thika United haven't won any match since 2009 against uh, Gorma here. They have uh, one of the worst records in, in KPL this season. They've only won two matches. And uh, in the last 14 encounters between the two teams, Thika United have drawn uh, four times and Gorma here have won Ten times in the last uh, 14 uh, encounters. Last season, Gormahia uh, did the double over Thika United. They won 2-0 uh, uh, at home and also 2-1 two, two away. So it's going to be, uh, let's say, on paper, it looks like uh, one-way traffic here at the Nyayo National Stadium. But let's wait and see. It is the KPL under 2017. You can never predict any match. Let's wait and see. Uh, the match kicks off at around 4 p.m. Back to you, Lynn. Abula Ahmed coming live to us from the Nyao National Stadium. And I must admit, Gurmahia fans are the best. And I'm really wondering what's in that Gurmahia water. But in studio, by the way, uh, my guest is a Gurmahia fan. And <laughs> I know I set you up. But uh, do you also expect that uh, Gurmahia is going to carry the season? Certainly. I think, uh, you know, last year, Coach Nutal left. And then we had a new coach from Brazil. And it took Zimaria. time for him to... Mm -hmm just understand the systems, but we clicked later in the season, and we started very well. We are top of the log. We are scoring a lot. Uh, we are playing a very good brand of football as well. Mm -hmm. So I think today at least 2-0. Okay, and uh, we will be going back to him, of course, to speak some rugby, and uh, you do know that the Kenya uh, 15s will be taking on uh, Germany in a test match at the Kenya Rugby Union grounds next Saturday. And uh, earlier in the week, uh, actually last week, I spoke to uh, the team manager as well as the team captain for the tour uh, that the Simba 15s are currently at in South Africa. And this is what they had to say about the season. We've had a chance to focus on all the aspects of the game, uh, the, the physicality bit, the conditioning bit, the tactical bit, and also the technical bit of the game. So we have been worked on around all the aspects. I think uh, the last qualifiers were a good lesson for us. We learned a lot. We learned that we, we can play, we can win, we can qualify for the World Cup. And also at the same time, if we, we slack in a bit, we can lose the opportunity. Because last season, we only did one point, and that was 
what uh, made us lose the position, the, the chance to play in the World Cup. So this time round, we are starting. We have started planning early. We have started working towards it early, and also our mental, our mental strength right now is much better than it was last season. So we realized that uh, this year, the task is uh, quite big for Kenya. Uh, we have uh, several test games in Kenya underway. We also have uh, Africa Cup. Then also we are preparing for the qualifier for the World Cup. So clubs have done actually a very, very good uh, work this season. Uh, you've seen Kenya Cup has been quite competitive. And uh, all the players who are playing in Kenya Cup, uh, um, their dream is to play for the Kenya 15s. And uh, the competition level actually has been quite high. So we've pulled players actually from the uh, clubs and the players that have been performing on merit so that the team polishes itself and we want by 2019 to be in Japan for the World Cup. We have so many games this year, that is more than eight international games, uh, both home and away. We might end up playing more than 10 games. So we are also exposing the young players uh, 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 to high level intensity uh, 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 rugby so that we do not lack players in any position. Yeah. And Last season we only lost one game. So I must say that um, uh, uh, the performance quite here, uh, last year was quite uh, encouraging. It tells you that uh, with the adequate preparations, winning a game is actually about preparations. What we are doing today is preparations. You begin early, plan well, uh, prepare well and plot well and that's when you win a game. But if you think you can wake up in the morning and win tomorrow, forget it. It's about hard work, commitment and above all, faith in God. The the Kenya Rugby Union uh, Secretary is with us in studio and uh, a busy season for the Kenya 15s? Yes, certainly, because uh, we start our first test match uh, on the 27th and then I think after that we're playing every fortnight. Uh, the first, uh, immediately after Germany on the 10th, we're in Kampala for the Elgon, Elgon Cup. Cup first leg. And then the two weeks later on the 24th, we have uh, Uganda here. Then we also have Tunisia and uh, Senegal coming to Nairobi early July. For the Africa Cup. For the Africa Cup. And then we travel to Zimbabwe and Namibia for our away matches in the Africa Cup. Then in August, just after the elections, we have uh, Hong Kong coming for a two test match series. Mm -hmm. I think on the 22nd and 29th of August. So I think fans will be entertained because you have six high quality games in Nairobi. And uh, it will be an opportunity for our players to showcase themselves and help the coaches as they work towards developing the team for the qualifier. The qualifiers will be very competitive. Our opponents are also preparing. So we have to put everything to ensure that we give ourselves the best chance. Mm. And of course, uh, looking at the fact that, you know, the fans haven't had a good time with the, with the seventh team the whole of the season, um, you know, is, is the 15th side now giving fans a chance to probably enjoy winning ways? <laughs> uh, certainly. And uh, I think uh, if you look at the team last year, uh, they played very well. Uh, I think we only lost one game against uh, Namibia, in Namibia, which has been sort of like our main competitor within the Africa Cup Championship. Uh, but we are very confident because we've prepared well. We started having the preparation camps in January this, this year, and they've, they've been meeting at least every fortnight, even as Kenya Cup was going on. From April now, it became a bit more consistent. Our head coach, Jerome Pawota, has been here at least every month working with the team for three or four days. And uh, yeah, it's all systems go. We have invested also in the high performance camp in uh, Cape Town. And I must commend Western Province for their continued support in making this happen. And also our sponsors who have supported this initiative. Uh, for you to win, like uh, my brother Angela says, you must prepare. If you don't prepare, then you'll certainly fail. So I think we've tried to give ourselves the best chance for success. And. Um I know it's, 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 a busy, it's a busy season, of course, with uh, you know, friendly matches, test matches, Elgon Cup and all. But at the end of it all, the focus still remains the 2019 World Cup. Am I right? That is correct. I think uh, early this year we approved the strategic plan. We went through a whole workshop with uh, the affiliates and everyone is clear. It's 2019 because, uh, uh, I mean, it's what is in front of us, so we can't focus on anything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, speaking of the World Cup, the previous World Cup, the team came too close. Yes. But then that's the closest. You know, it, you know close sometimes doesn't count. You know, what's the union probably doing on its side to make sure that it's not going to be close, but it's going to be a ticket to the World Cup? 
I think the, the, the greatest investment the union can make is in, the, in providing the technical and financial resources and also arranging all these fixtures so that uh, we are able to, to, to prepare well. I think previously we didn't have as many test matches as we're having now. And you can't compare a test match to, say, even a Kenya Cup final because the level is very, very different. Mm -hmm. So I think that exposure which we'll get this year, mm -hmm. uh, we've also confirmed going to Hong Kong in November because there's a IRB, a World Rugby calendar of tests mm -hmm. around November. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll play about three other tests in, uh, in uh, Hong Kong in, in November. Again, just building it up nicely. We are going to start discussions with the clubs uh, in the next week or so about player availability, which at times can be a challenge. But uh, uh, again, we are very grateful for the support that the clubs have given us, making available players. Competitions are going on like Enterprise Cup, but the people in the national team are, are still working on their own preparation. And let's talk about the fixture, you know, the, the, the next Saturday's fixtures, are Kenya okay. playing Germany. Okay. You know, what, what do fans need to know? The game is at the RFUA ground on Gong Road, which is uh, tenanted by Kenya Harlequins. Uh, the Kenya-Germany game is at 4 p.m. Uh, kickoff. Earlier in the day, we have uh, two events for cutting and Razors. Uh, we have a Get Into Rugby mm -hmm. uh, Academy program. Mm -hmm. This is sponsored by Tattoo City and will be getting age grade children, basically age, between age 8 all the way to 18, and they'll be having some demonstrations till about 11 o'clock. Then uh, we clear the pitch for the Enterprise Cup final. Uh, Cabras Sugar playing KCB. Yeah. And uh, that should be a cracking game as well. Uh, I think there were the two teams in the, in the Kenya Cup final. So it's a, it's a repeat of that final. And we estimate by, say, 2 to 30, that should be done. Always you provide in case there's extra time. Because in a final, uh, that's what fans want to see. Then uh, we'll have, obviously, a lot of entertainment. We are setting up the village. It will be child friendly. There are various partners who are going to bring things. So we want to create it as a nice envi environment for people to come with their children, with their wives, with their girlfriends. It's not just going to be pure rugby. Yeah. So it's going to be a good day. You can get uh, advanced tickets. Uh, it's 400 shillings. And uh, at the gate, it will be 500 shillings. So again, and children below 12 don't pay for any rugby match. So bring your brood along. Okay, thank you very much. The Kenya Rugby Union uh, Secretary uh, Jeffrey Gangler telling us, uh, of course, about the Kenya 15's uh, plans for the season and uh, disclosing that, of course, the union will be investing quite a good amount to make sure that the team qualifies.